Greetings YouTubers, I'm Steve Russell and it's 3rd December 2007. In a few days there'll be a meeting in Bali once more telling us that we have to limit greenhouse gas emissions or there will be droughts, floods, plagues and extinctions of biblical proportions. Once again we'll be told that there is a consensus about these things. Well actually there's only three things on which there's a consensus. One, that there's more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Two, that the greenhouse gases will cause some warming. But how much warming? There's no consensus. The geographical distribution of any warming? Again, there's no consensus. The rate of sea level rise? No consensus. The increase of extreme weather events? More floods, droughts, hurricanes, tornadoes than the rate and geographical distribution of any increase? No consensus. So when they say the science is settled, bullshit. Now as you remember, I said that there were three things on which there is consensus. And number three is that increased levels of carbon dioxide are actually good for plants. According to peer-reviewed research, a doubling of CO2 will on average boost growth by 52%. Or to put it another way, if we hadn't put all that extra CO2 in the atmosphere, crops would today be producing about 20% less product, other things being equal. Of course it varies between species and with different environmental conditions, but globally we have, apart from the huge gains in agricultural technology over the last century, indisputably had a massive CO2 fertilisation effect. All of that long dead carbon in coal and petroleum, now living again, turned into millions of tonnes of extra rice, corn, beans, timber, grass, produced annually all over the globe and being turned into pork and beef and into people. So why is this good news story seldom discussed? Why are we so addicted to believing in apocalypse? because only in the last geological instant have we been able to free up huge periods of our vastly expanded years to have fun, learn, travel, or post our wisdom on internet chat boards. And yet our brains are still primed to believe every scare story. After all, it was of evolutionary advantage to give credence to the guy who told you that a pack of saber-toothed cats or a hostile tribe, or a flash flood was approaching. Long-term general contentment has no evolutionary advantage. That is why saying, oh wow, what a great world we live in, we're so lucky to live in the 21st century, is a surefire conversation stopper. Much better to whine on about global warming and how everything is terrible. And yet the civilizational self-loathing is disarming us of the moral certitude to stand up to the real threat, namely Islamofascism.